end of this video any question that comes in this form you will be able to solve this so i would like you to watch this video to the end as i'll be giving a step-by-step -step method on how to solve this kind of problem okay now first let us simplify root 12 now let me tell you the easiest way to do this no matter how big that number is if you want to simplify a sword write that sword what is the smallest number that can divide this two right we go with that two now when 12 is divided by two we have six when 6 is divided by 2 again, because that is the smallest number that can divide 6, even though 3 can divide it, but we go with 2, okay? Now, when 6 is divided by 2, we have 3. Now, when 3 divides itself, we have 1. Now, remember that this is square root, so we are going to take this in 2s, okay? So, since this is the only pair we can see here, 2 times 2 will give us 4. So, it means that 4 times 3 is the easiest way to express root 12. So that we can simplify it further okay so i'm now going to write this as square root of four multiplied by square root of three because when you have square root of a b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b okay so 12 can be written as square root of four multiplied by square root of three you are going to see why soon divided by now root 15 can doesn't have any um, perfect square in it. So we can just express it as square root of 5 times 3. There is no other way we can express that. So square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 3. Okay? All these things raised to the power of 12. Okay. Now, we can write this to be equal to root 4 is 2. Can you see why we decided to express this in terms of 4? Because we can get the square root of 4. 4 is a perfect square. Now, square root of 4 is 2. So, we have 2 over root 3 divided by... Now, they have root 3 in common, right? So, we can bring root 3 out. And we have root 5 and what? That is root 5 multiplied by root 3 divided by root 3 will give us root 5, right? Then, plus root 3 divided by root 3 will give us 1. Now, this is what we have everything raised to the power of 12 okay let me come here now can you see that we have root 3 here and root 3 here so we can cancel them so what we now have is 2 over square root of 5 plus 1 raised to the power of 12 okay now remember that this is a sword and in the rule of sword it is not right for you to leave sword as your denominator so since root 5 is sword we can uh, we are going to rationalize this this fraction by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this denominator. Now, the conjugate of this denominator is root 5 minus 1. So, this sign will change to minus. If this is root 5 plus minus 1, then the conjugate will be root 5 plus 1. So, in this case, it is plus, so the sign will change to minus. So, this is what I mean. We are going to multiply the numerator by root 5 minus 1, the conjugate of this, and also multiply the denominator by the same thing, okay? Root 5 minus 1. That is how to rationalize, okay? Everything raised to the power of 12. Now we continue to solve. So this is what we have, two brackets, root 5 minus 1, divided by now when you have a plus b multiplied by a minus b this is difference of two squares right so this is same thing as a squared minus b squared so our a here is root five so this same thing as root five squared minus our b is one one squared Remember that the whole of this is raised to the power of 12. Now, we are still simplifying. We have not even started solving. But trust me, when we start solving, it is more interesting. Okay? All right. So, this place we have 2 root 5 minus 1 divided by... Then this, we cancel this. We have 5 minus. 1 squared is still 1. Everything raised to the power of 12. Okay? So, this is equal to 2 brackets, root 5 minus 1, divided by 4. Because 5 minus 1 is 4, everything raised to the power of 12. Permit me to continue from this side of the board. If this is the first time you have seen this amazing channel, click on the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that I don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos every single day, like... 
two, three times daily. So tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. Now, at this point, this is what we have, this. So two can divide this to give us two. So in summary, we have root five minus one divided by two raised to the power of 12. Now, from this part, whenever you see something in this form okay to solve this call whatever you have inside the bracket anything so i'll call mine x you can set call yours y or anything of your choice so we can say let x be equal to root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. now when you do that that means you can say that this is equal to x to the power of 12 right yes now i'm going to try to get the value of x squared from here i will explain later why i'm trying to get that value okay all right now let's go so we are going to cross multiply if we cross multiply we have x times 2 we give us 2x okay that means this thing i wrote i don't even know if you people can see it but that is by the way all right now when this multiply one we have root five minus one is equal to root 5 minus 1. Okay, you need me to clean everything from here. All right, now you transfer your constant to this side. Like I said, it's a step-by-step -step approach. So transfer this minus 1 to the other side, your constant. So we have 2x minus 1 we cross to become plus 1 is equal to root 5. Now, because we want to remove this root side, we square this side, right? Whatever we do to this side, we do that to the other side as well. So let us square this side as well. 2x plus 1 squared, okay, is equal to root 5 squared. All right? Now, remember that when you have a plus b squared, that is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right? Now, that means we have 2x squared plus 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1 plus 1 squared is equal to, now this you can see this, we have only 5 here. Now 2 squared is 4x squared plus 2 times 2x times 1 will give us 4x plus 1 squared is 1 is equal to 5. So we have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1, plus 5 we cross become minus 5 is equal to 0. Like I said, my intention here is to get the value of x squared. And I'm going to explain why soon, okay? So, we have 4x squared plus 4x plus, oh, minus 1. Because 1 minus 5 is minus 4. And plus times minus is minus. So, we have minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, notice that we have 4, 4, 4. We can decide to divide through by 4 to simplify this further. So if we divide through by 4, we have this divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. So this, we cancel this, we have x squared, right? So we have x squared plus, this we divide itself, we have only x minus, this we divide this, we have 1, is equal to 0. Now, at this point, at this point, remember I told you my intention is to get the value of x squared. So I'm going to transfer everything to the other side, leaving x squared alone. So if I do that, I will have x squared is equal to minus x with plus x we cross to become minus x, minus 1 we cross to become plus 1. So it means that x squared is equal to plus 1 minus x. Now, this is a very important equation. Let's call this equation 1, and I'm going to write it somewhere in case I clean this off so that I won't forget. So we have x squared is 1 minus x. Now, let me explain why I am trying to get the value of x squared, x squared. The first thing you need to know is that we are looking for x to the power of 12. Remember we said, let this be equal to x. So that means we are looking for x to the power of 12. Now, if we use the law of indices or exponents, note, note or remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Okay, yeah, so that simply means that 12 can be expressed in terms of its product of its factors, as product of its factors. Now, look at what we do. We need, know that x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2, we give us 6, right? Now, if I should square this as well, I'll get x to the power of 12. Yes, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. So it means that if I can get x to the power of 3, I'll square it, and then I'll square it again to get to what we are looking for. 
Do you now understand? Now, what's the essence of x squared? Remember that if I multiply x squared by x to the power of 1, I will get x to the power of 3. Yes, right? So, that is it. Once I do this to this, I'll get my x to the power of 3, and I'll use it as a base to get to my destination. Let's do it together so that it won't be difficult. So, like I said, we are going to multiply this side by x to the power of 1. And you know in mathematics, whatever you do to the one side, you do that to the other side to balance it up, okay? So, we are going to have x squared multiplied by x, is equal to 1 minus x multiplied by x as well. So here we have x to the power of, remember that x is same thing as x to the power of 1. So we pick one base and we add the powers. 2 plus 1, which is 3, is equal to x times 1 is x minus x times s is x squared. Now remember I said that x squared is the most important equation so far. Now this is why, because we are simplifying without a calculator, anywhere we see x squared, excuse me, we are going to replace it with 1 minus x, okay? So that means x to the power of 3 is equal to x minus, uh, x squared is 1 minus x, okay? So we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x minus times 1 is minus 1, minus times minus x is plus x okay so we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x plus x is 2x minus 1 now we have gotten x to the power of 3 remember our intention we are going to square this to get x to the power of 6 okay and square it again to get to our destination but not just getting to the destination there are so many things involved why we get to the destination okay so we have x to the power of 3 now so we are going to square both sides to get x to the power of 6 so we have x to the power of 3 squared is equal to 2x minus 1 squared okay so x to the power of 6 is equal to remember that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so this will be 2x squared minus 2ab, 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1, okay, plus b squared plus 1 squared. So x to the power of 6 is 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared minus 2 times 2x is 4x plus 1, okay? Recall, anywhere we see x squared, we replace it with 1 minus x. So we have x to the power of 6 is 4 brackets, 1 minus x, minus 4x plus 1, okay? All right, now let's continue. So we have that x to the power of 6 is equal to 4 times 1 is 4, minus 4 times x is 4x, okay? Now, minus 4x plus 1, okay? So, x to the power of 6 is equal to 4 plus 1 will give us 5, minus 4x minus 4x is minus 8x. Now, we are going to square x to the power of 6 in order to get x to the power of 12, Remember, all right, so we have x to the power of 6 squared, so we also square this one as well, okay? So we have x to the power of 12 is equal to 5 squared minus 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 8x plus 8x squared. So we have our x to the power of 12 to be equal to 25 minus, now 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 8 is 80. So we have minus 80x plus 8 squared is 64x squared, all right? Now remember that we replace our x squared with 1 minus x, okay? So we have 25 minus 80x plus 64 bracket 1 minus x, okay? So x to the power of 12 is equal to 25 minus 80x plus 64 times 1 is 64. 64 times minus x is minus 64x. Now we continue from here, okay? We are almost at the end of this journey. So we have x to the power of 12 is equal to, we connect like terms, 25 plus 64 will give us 89. So we have 89 
Now, minus 80 minus 64 is minus 114 minus 114x. Okay? Now, it's time to substitute our x back. Remember that we got our x as root 5 minus 1 over 2. So, we are going to replace that here. So, we have root 5 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 12 is equal to 89 minus 114 bracket root 5 minus 1 over 2 yeah we are going to use the simplified version not this one okay so we have root 5 minus 1 over 2 all right now we have um this to be what i don't want to keep repeating this 89 minus now 2 we divide this is 144 sorry 144 now 2 we divide this to give us 72 okay I'm sorry. So, 2 we divide this to give us 72. We have 72 brackets root 5 minus 1. All right? So, this is equal to 89 minus 72 times root 5 will give us 72 root 5. All right? Minus 1 minus 72 times minus 1 will give us plus 72. So, we solve this. 9 plus 1 will give us 11. We write 1 carry 1, okay? Now, 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. So, we have 161 minus 72 root 5, okay? Now, therefore, therefore, root 12 divided by root 15 plus root 3 raised to the power of 12 can be expressed as 161 minus 72 root 5 in its simplest form without the use of a calculator. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.